Another day arrives in the Federation Blue Star campaign, culminating in the year 2012. This Federation log is compiled for the Earth date 27-5-2008. Our team are eight years into our agenda, and it's been nearly 16 years since the World Scientist Report was released in November 1992. The report unanimously warned all governments of the world that time was up for urgent action in relation to climate change. I'm forced to reflect on the World Scientist Report as news comes in of continued evacuations in Chile due to pressing volcanic activity. I wonder what the governments are thinking. As the fatalities in China hit 67,000 and another 71,000 homes are destroyed from another six magnitude earthquake, I wonder what the world governments are thinking. Today, Guatemala received a 5.9 magnitude quake as other scientists rejoiced in their ability to calculate the weight of the Milky Way as being one trillion times that of the Sun. How smart is our civilization really? As each 24 hour period lapses, another 200,000 acres of rainforest is destroyed. 13 million tonnes of toxic chemical waste enters the environment, and another 45,000 people die of starvation. I'm forced to ask myself, how real is this threat to the human species and where does that leave our Federation team as we put forward our plans for the next four years? People have got to get going, but as I say this, I'm reminded by what our dad often states, people won't act until they are hurting. So I guess in the Western world, does this mean we have to wait until catastrophe bears down on human life before we seek to quantify the scale of this emergency? Well, the point is, for those people willing to get going on this global challenge, they should do everything in their power to amalgamate with like-minded groups and individuals who are already actively pursuing solutions. The outcome of this time on Earth is greater than just the protection of life. It is the restoration of the human spirit to dig deep enough so that we may transcend the limitations of our time and start anew. This is a time to let go of the material acquisition which has become the lethal addiction of the Western world. We can rekindle the flame that drove our ancients towards a peaceful existence free of tyranny and conflict. I'm reminded on this day, be not conformed by the world in which we live, but transformed by the renewing of our mind. How bad will the extent of climate change get around the world before serious and far-reaching action is carried out by the people, governments and industry? How much life will be lost before we have to realise that without the health of our planet Earth, our species has no basis to survive or prosper? And why should people wait for governments? Why should people expect industry to change when they continue to buy products which single-handedly contribute to the state of the world's problems? Who is to blame? Well, who isn't to blame? It seriously comes down to individual action that will transform the world in which we live. So let's rise up to the challenge. Let's come together. Let's dedicate every moment we have to divert the potential of a world catastrophe and instigate the realisation of humanity being a true success in the universe. Let's come together, team. Federation log, signal out.
Find yourself again. Time to send your spirit. 